In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to do myofascial release anterior part of the shoulder. Especially today, I am going to focus on this part. This is coracoid process. This is part of scapula. This is very tiny place, but very important place. Why? Because from inferior part of coracoid process, there are three muscles, okay? One is pectoris minor, one is biceps brachii, short head, and one is coracobrachialis. These muscles are important for shoulder movement and scapula movement, okay? Three muscles. On the superior part of the coracoid process, you see this? These are the ligaments. Ligaments which connect coracoid process and clavicle. So if this part gets tight, that can inhibit the movement of clavicle. Clavicle is very important when you move shoulder joint. If clavicle doesn't move, shoulder cannot move uh, sufficiently, okay? So on the inferior part, there are three muscles. On the superior part, there are ligaments. That's why coracoid process is very, very important. Now, let me show you how to do on the rear person. Now, this is her coracoid process. It is a little bit hard to palpate for the beginning, but if you keep practicing, it's easy to do. Let's say this part is inferior part. I am on the inferior part of the coracoid process. I sink into the inferior part of the coracoid process, then move. Wait until the fascia releases. Good. How about superior part? Let's say this part is superior part of coracoid process. I sink into the fascia and wait until fascia reacts. I am standing on the head side of this person. That's why I can go this way for inferior part. I can go superior part from this way. You know what I'm talking about? Now I am standing on the stomach side of this person. So I can go like this for superior part. And I can go inferior part like this. You see the difference? I can go this way and this way. Or I can go this way or this way. It's your preference. It's no uh, golden rule. If you are comfortable with this way or this way, go for it. Or if you like the other way, use that way. Important thing is you sink into the fascia and follow the reaction. This is the most important thing. Again, if coracoid process, the fascia gets tight, it inhibits the movement of clavicle or movement of scapula. If these guys don't move, shoulder doesn't move. That's why this tiny bony process is very, very important. So this is it. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.